This conference will now be recorded. As always, everything that we're going to be talking about today is for educational purposes only, and nothing is intended as any type of investment advice. So it just continues to keep going, I swear. I mean, the summertime trading so far, I, I can't even call it summertime trading. It's its honestly been almost, I don't want to say it, but almost been better than what we saw you know, in that September, October, November, really that hot time of trading. It's just, we continuously keep getting these stocks with just great building, great volume, and then you know, eventually that great trading that comes into it. So let's talk about what we're going to be looking at this afternoon. Now, obviously, first thing is going to be WKHS. So we know we have a bunch of building that's been going on ever since pretty much right you know right before 11:30 coming into things and we just keep getting these ask prints at that 9 level. So really at this moment real there's only one thing that we're looking for. We know we're going to see selling coming in. I mean, that's just obvious because of the fact that it's sitting there in that building position. But with all the buying that we see at that nine level, we really shouldn't have that hard of a time being able to hit 10. So all we're going to be looking for is some short-term prints that show us that we're going to be able to break out of this consolidation. We're going to need volume somewhere in that 400 to 500,000 share range. Um, to be able to break out and just really just those short-term ask prints that are going to come in to show us that it's time for it to really be able to break out. There is no question about the buying of what we have here for it to be able to break out. It's just a matter of really getting out of this building phase. Just keep in mind, remember, trying to trade a building phase is going to give you a ton of shakeout. So that's something that we definitely want to look for. So really, at the end of the day, what we're looking for is the short-term ask prints and that big volume to come in to show us that we're going to be able to actually get that that breakout from those short-term ask prints to be able to break past that double top. And then obviously the nine is still a big problem because we keep getting orders that pop up there and we keep getting those ask prints. So just really make sure that you're looking for that short-term and really the now when the stock is going to be able to get really get going. Next thing is SINT. So this is another one. We know that we have ask prints at 250. This is almost the same type of deal. We have enough to be able to not only hit this double top, but, but really be able to break that double top fairly easily. So this is what we want to see. We want to start to see these short-term ask prints, and we want to see something really in the realm of uh, see, a mil see, I want to say a million because a million is such a huge amount, but that 250 is just a hard thing because we keep getting, once again, those orders that keep popping in that show us that it's really kind of building more than it is trading. So we need these short-term aspirants, and we want to see something. We want to see real breakout volume. And the one thing about this is that when that breakout volume comes, more than likely what we're going to end up seeing is that double top almost get hit immediately, but we don't want to see more building prints that come in at the 250. Almost like when we were looking at CTIB this morning and when it didn't really print at that five level um, that gave us the ability to kind of move now. We want to see something that's very, very similar for us to be able to really kind of really kind of get going because we don't want to get into a, the trade right this second because then we come to that 250. We hit ask again. We end up coming back down. There's just not enough risk versus reward that's there. Um, but it, as long as we can get some real big volume to come into this and really get us over that 250 we once again we should be able to see we have enough buying to be able to see us really you know really see that thing start to get going now next thing i'm still looking at Timus. okay so tmust mobile this morning i mean come on this was just such an easy trade from what we went over. I mean, we saw the amount of selling that was coming into it. And then we saw that buying those riders that started coming in. We had a really conservative price target right over 106. And then there was just no chance to even get out before that. It broke right through those print lines. There's a lot of congestion. But what this tells us is that those print lines, not that they're not respected, but it's not as hard as you would think to be able to get through there. And just before, I know it's not showing up on here, but just before we started to get some prints that came in at that 107, we have ask prints at 107, some big ask prints at 107 that happened two times before. So overall, if we can get some nice volume to start coming in, and yeah, yes, you know, it's trading 68,000 shares a minute. So it is telling, you know, there is good volume that's coming in. But if we really get that trading volume, once we break above, above here, that's going to be a really, really strong support level and has the buying to 
easily do so. So even though it's not really doing too much right now, it's, it did a little bit of floating afternoon and, and pretty much just kind of floating up up until this point. Once again, just that trading volume. We start to see time and sales pick up. We get that volume that comes in to push us above this. We should, we really do have the ability to make a lot more of a move. And one thing that you want to look at is the puzzle. The puzzle is my favorite, you know, as you guys know, it's one of my favorite things to, to really kind of understand. And if you look, you have 40 million shares. It's under range. It doesn't make sense. We've literally, even though such a great move coming into the morning, we've literally been in a building phase almost the entire day. So at this point for it to break all the way down towards the lows and then go underneath is not a very high probability. So we have to look at where we're, you know, what we're looking to, for the puzzle to do. So overall, with the buying that we have at 107, some nice volume coming back up. We still need to hit even 311. And not for nothing, but we need to hit a lot more than that 311. So overall, this is another one where it doesn't look so special right this second, but the underlying and, and the variables that we have that go within it are showing us that there's a lot more that can happen within this. So there's a ton of, ton of potential that's coming in. And then guess what? If we come into the afternoon and we don't see anything really kind of make that move and we don't really see you know when we get to four o'clock that it, it it really crushes this range we don't get that great move towards the upside this is something that we definitely want to keep on our list for tomorrow morning now a few things on our side list first of all is plug plug so we know this thing has the buying to be able to really continue not only to this double top because that's obviously first where our price target is going to have to be but it does have the buying to be able to really kind of break past that so just before this stood out big time, you could see 750, not so much, but look at this, look at this position that came in at 753 to 754. Unbelievable. I mean, this is this is what we look for, something that really stands out. And the buying that's here tells us that there's no way in the world that we should have trouble being able to get to that double top and then obviously break past that. Okay, but Bob, you know, our first price target is gonna have to be that double top. But that's very, very conservative based off the prints that we see coming into there. We should not have a problem being able to break past there. Once again, it's the trading volume. We come into the summer afternoons and the mornings are like, you know, basically are like full. But the afternoons really have kind of slowed down a little bit. You don't see as much trading that, you know, that's really going on. But overall, as long as we get that volume, we should have absolutely no problem, especially when somebody like this comes in and jumps in when the print personality really is sitting in there kind of that three to four range and then we see something like this this you know it, it gives us a very good indication that that person knows exactly what they're doing and then htz i'm still going to be watching this this is on the bottom bottom of my side list this was such an amazing trade um coming into this morning I, it was just i mean bonus money you know our price target would have was two and we had a huge order there that got basically just completely annihilated they executed the entire order i believe it was like 390 uh, thousand shares something like that and then we popped all the way up we did not hit 250 and it pulled back down but that just tells us that they didn't want to build up here at 250 they wanted to bring it back down from those ask prints that we had at that two level so as of right this second it might just for the rest of the afternoon just continue to the side and not do anything but what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be setting orders as the stock is continuously moving so that when the, the volume does come out of nowhere, we have the, you know, we have, we have it ready and we're ready to get into it to bring us back up because the buying is just absolutely phenomenal. And that's pretty much what we have going on this afternoon. Now, anything else out there that I missed? Anything else out there that I missed? All right, so I think that is it. Let's uh, let's get ready for the afternoon. We got some really, really great setups, but just remember, it's you know, it's a summer afternoon. Do not try to jump out there and do things prematurely. Make sure that you get that volume. Make sure that you see that they're ready to go from building to trading, and let's take it from there. All right, guys, I will talk to everyone in the chat, and happy trading.